more information on our downsizing journey, more of the specifics and the practical of how we did it, you can check out our website at livinglightrv.com. What about the Alto? Okay, so we just walked into this Aljo and it has a funky smell. renovation we're still in the demolishing phase Kent's taking out carpet in the bedroom thing organized like this is the kitchen hardware this is the living room hardware bathroom this is a cab area hardware so yeah that hopefully will help us figure out where things go in the end is done. Hey Ken. Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, you know what? What? I'm uh, Living Light RV. I'm Living Light RV. <laughs> we did it, guys. We're in our house on wheels. We're just heading out right now to go to our farewell party. Oh, look how pretty she is. Oh my word. Woo! This is home. This is home. So it doesn't quite seem real yet, so it's sort of like a dream, so I guess I'm living the dream. And I'm a good passenger because this is definitely the way to deal with rush hour. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are live Friday, no, Sunday night. Whoa, I almost I know. said welcome to Friday night and it's not, it's Sunday night, you guys. Welcome to not Friday night. <laughs> but we're still in a great mood, we're still here to party and we're still here to hang out with you guys tonight. So thank you so much for coming. Hey, welcome everybody, we've got Mary Lou Grabowski's in the house, we've got Tumbleweed RV Life, we've got RV Living Life, we've got F&T Kinsala, we've got Ian and Sharon at Econo Box Garage, X Marks, the spot is in here. We've got N... One. N... T... U... N... Two... No... N... N... One... Uno. Ten, <laughs> 1965. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. I actually have a cataract in my eye, and at night, it's really hard to see clearly, so I apologize if I stumble over your names and over your comments, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> and we are here for you. Exactly. Vagabond Z is in the house. We have Jane Bray in the house. Hello, Woo! hello, everyone. All right. I love it that you guys say hi to each other this because is, we are a community. This, this is, awesome. is, again, a meetup. Okay? It is. Because it, it is. A virtual meetup. Absolutely. The only problem is we can't hear you quite loud enough. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. So it's it's, it's sort of interesting. So Anyways. we have to hear you through the chat. So please continue to put chats in there and just visit with us. And what? F&T gave us a super chat. Whoa. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. You are definitely a super chat hero. Thank you so much, Frank. We totally love you. We appreciate you. We pray you have for you. Been with us through thick and thick thin. Thick and thin it's from the amazing. beginning. It has been amazing. Wow. Good times and bad times. You know, we love you. All right. So thank you so much for that $50 super chat. Super sticker, I guess, is what it is because it's got the cute little 
the little snuggly guy with the is it a little bear or a kitty? Oh, it's a ki- it's 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 a snuggy. I think it's a bunny. It's yes. snuggy. It's a snuggy. We 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 appreciate your hug. Wow, thank you, thank so, you. so much. We appreciate that. Excellent. We have a lot of things to talk about, we and do. we have some special things that we want you to know first. Yes, exactly. Doug C is in the house. Thank you for coming tonight. And all right, first of all, I want to say. Thank you all for coming tonight yes. and for hanging out with us. We'll be here for about an hour. So grab yourself a hot chocolate or whatever your favorite bevy is and we'll sit and visit. Thank you so much to our moderators. So when you see anybody in the chat, Melanetti, Living Free Zip Code, that's right here. If you see anybody that has a blue name with a blue rent on it, they are moderators. They keep our chat safe. They keep it friendly. They keep it moving along. Yes. And we appreciate every single one of our moderators. So if yeah. you are a moderator, go ahead right now and put your link to your social media in the chat, whether it's your YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, go ahead and put it in there. And if you are following along, we really encourage you to go check out those links. So just yes. right click new tab and then you can grab it or however you want to do that. So one of the things I do uh, as a YouTube uh, setup person, when I set up a live chat, uh, I mean a live stream like this is I say, okay, only those that are subscribed are allowed to comment That's right. on that comment line and they have to have been subscribed for more than a minute. So everybody that's there has been subscribed to uh, Living Light RV for at least and a minute. So, for at least a minute. So <laughs> it does it does help the moderators for not it having should. somebody pop in for ten seconds, drop their links to their, their, their to their special exactly. whatever that's for sale, exactly. and then out again. Exactly. So it does help. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. All right. So Mel and Nettie Living Free Zip Colas has their link to their YouTube. There we've got Tumbleweed RV Life linking to their YouTube. Um, you guys go ahead, the rest of you as well. I know there's a few more in here that are going to put links to their own social media. Go say hi, watch a video, hit a like and a subscribe, leave a comment, yeah. and we'll just keep building our community. And Nettie, can you do me a favor and send me a photograph of your fancy nails today? Because I, do, you, you always change up your nails. They're always amazing. <laughs> They're always top notch. And I just love to have a photograph of what your nails look like today. Exactly. exactly. They're probably spooky or something. Oh, maybe they are for Halloween. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, awesome. So Jane Bray says, I keep missing church. Okay, so some of you may not know that we have Nomad Church on Saturday nights. So if you are a nomad or live the nomad life or love nomad life we invite you to come and join us yeah. so on saturday nights it is on zoom kent is the preacher uh, garrett and carolyn from diary of a family they do the worship time we've got a few others here that are part of our our community there our church family so can you guys hear the train whistle that was awesome <laughs> is it called a train whistle or a train horn because it sounds like a horn it is a we horn. call it a whistle it doesn't sound it like could a be whistle. a whistle maybe in some <laughs> in some in some cultures, I'm sure it is a whistle. Anyway, so if you want to join our Nomad Church, go ahead and send us an email. Just Kent or Lisa at livingthatrv.com and That's we'll right. touch base with you. And we will put your information into the couple that does all of the admin, exactly. or most of the admin. Exactly. Uh, and that is uh, Garrett and Carolyn. Yeah. Mary Lou says she thinks Nettie's nails are orange and black. Exactly. I'll bet I'll they bet are they too. Are. Uh, Econobox Garage, thank you for putting your link in there for your YouTube channel as well. That's fantastic. Excellent. Okay, let's get on to our show. Okay, the train whistle is loud. I'm gonna, I just call it a whistle. Go ahead. You guys type in the chat if you think that when it goes like... Arr, arr. It's a horn. It's <laughs> a horrible sound. We know it's a horn. Is it a horn or a whistle? Is it a train you know horn that, or a train that, whistle? That long tube thing that flares out at the end uh, that the air actually goes through to make yeah, that? Yeah, it looks like it's a horn. It's not a whistle. It's a then, horn. Then what's a train whistle? It's when you whistle at a train when it goes by. <laughs> Woohoo, nice train. <laughs> exactly. Or... Because there's also a bell. We hear the bell that dings when that when that starts rolling. Well, you think we would know this by now? Mary Lou says it's a whistle. Here, oh, it is a whistle. Okay, so when you hear the train whistle and you hear it louder this tonight than before, it's because we're in a new site. We're yeah. on the same campground, but we used to be out in the what we would call the, the desert, open or prairie, the, the prairie. And we think we've shown you pictures of that space before. Kent's got some drone footage of that that we've put on the channel. We are now in the other side where all the trees are. So yes. we're more protected from the wind. We are closer to a building, closer to water and bathrooms For and how long, Lisa? laundry. Because we're going to be here until January 15th. That's right. I know, you guys. Canadian winters. It's going to be amazing. We're so, going to talk about that in a minute. Yes, we will. But um, yes, we are, we are at a new site and we are closer to the train. So that's why the train whistle is louder. Steam engines had whistles. Steam trains have whistles. Go. Modern engines have horns. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. That's that right, because sense. they would use the air coming off the steam to blow the whistle. 
RV Living Life, you guys, I just checked your channel because I can never remember both of your names accurately. So I can't believe it. I've asked you a hundred times. So if you could put in your chat your name, that would be great. You, your, your, you and your wife's name. Because when we don't have it here oh, I don't want to say it. It, it, it. I it think, bugs okay, us. should I say what I think it is? No. Okay, <laughs> I'm probably no. right. I'm probably right. Anyway. I did notice that you guys hit over a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel. Well so done. yay, congratulations to you. So you guys, if you feel like finding a new channel, they just did a video on Canadian fall um, e-bike video, I think it is. I just saw the title in the thumbnail just before, like literally 40 seconds before we went live. So I'm going to watch that later tonight. So if one of our moderators could find RV Living Life, it's all one word, and uh, get that, get their YouTube link up. We'd like to just give them a shout out and let them just That's grab right. a few more friends, a few more YouTube friends. So we'll be checking out your channel soon. Gary and Gary. See, Carol. I told you. I said it was Gary and Carol. I was right. So I, well I, I did remember. I just wasn't 100% sure. So I am writing that down again. I know I've done it before. Gary and Carol, we met them. We met you guys in Chilliwack. Cultus Lake. Cultus Lake, yeah. Yep. And they had a bear that showed up like right in their... On their perimeter like, cam. You know where your your um, RV mat is like out out front of your out of your trailer? It was on their mat. Like it was right there. So, yes. See? Yeah, it's pretty loud. The horn is louder. I like it. Anyway, so yes, so Gary and Carol, congratulations on hitting a thousand subscribers and we will definitely be checking out your videos. I see the link there. It looks like they captured Perfect. their handle. Thank That's you Nettie good. for putting that up there. I totally appreciate that. That's awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> Whenever you score a goal, we hear the whistle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's true. Go hockey. Doug and Hillary. There um, we go. All right. Oh, wait. We've got Doug and, Doug and Hill. Awesome. That sounds good. I'll put that in there, too, so I can remember everybody's names. All right. All right. Names are important. Names are very important because we're not numbers. Uh, thumbs up. Yes. Thanks, Mary Lou. So if you guys haven't done so, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. And... Uh, I did check yes. our Amazon links. I think they're all functioning I and working, working well. Yeah. Uh, even though when you click through it, all of a sudden you see your own cart and it's like, are, am I in? Yeah. I believe you are. Yeah, exactly. So Mary Lou, give us a call sometime this week and we'll work through that if that still doesn't work for you. So Text me. Yeah, exactly. Okay, question. We want to ask you guys a question because we always want to engage with you and our community. So the yeah. question for tonight is, where will you be in February? Ooh. I know, totally random month, but I want to know where everybody's going to be in February because we have big plans for February. February. We want to know where you're going to be. 2023. So go ahead and put in the chat the title of a campground, a city, a province, a state, wherever you're going to be in February. What are your plans for February? So should we tell them our plans for February? Yes. Okay, do because it. Because that's part of what is going on with Living Light RV. You see, Living Light RV, we are staying put just for now. Uh, because we have a very special person. Our middle daughter is coming back to this continent. And we don't want to miss her. So exactly. we're going to stay where we are. We're going to have time with her and in the areas and travel a bit uh, by car and keep Bessie all hunkered down and nice and warm. And then in the middle of January, we're gonna pull up stakes, head to that border, tell them, please, Mr. Scrooge, let me <laughs> in. And they'll say, sure, no problem. And then we'll go all the way down to Yuma. Yes. Well, almost we'll, all the way to Yuma. We're going to Quartzsite. Yes. We're gonna be in Quartzsite in February. But, um, I mean, if we can get across the border. So just, you guys, send a prayer and thoughts for letting the United States allow all Canadians to travel into their country yes. because that's what we are waiting for. We're waiting for the rules to change so we can do that. Excellent. We have people going to stay in Granham. Granham is a cute town in Southern Alberta yep. and I love it. Two. I just love it. It's such a, such a cute town. So you guys are lucky that you get to stay in your cozy house with your beautiful family. We're so happy that you guys get to do that in Granham. Uh, Mel and Eddie aren't sure yet because they're just, they just follow the wind. They, they're living free. L they're living free without a zip code. So they can just go wherever they want. Hopefully they'll be in Quartzsite so we can visit. All right. Then we've got Tumbleweed at their, on their land in Southern Baja. Ooh. Oh, man. That sounds beautiful. We've got nice. RV Solar Homesteaders on the road. Jeff Lloyd's in Porto Panasco, Mexico. Rocky Point. Mexico sounds beautiful. We've got Arizona for X marks a spot for Richard and Hope. We've got Thousand Trails Orlando. Oh, Gary and Carol are going to be in wow. Florida. That is so on our bucket list, you guys. It won't be for this year, but we will be there eventually. Um, awesome. Nettie's got our coffee link on there. We do have Living Bold RV Coffee. If you guys 
have never tried it before. It is amazing. We can only ship it to Canada still. I know this is one of these things we need to get that fixed because we didn't ship it to the States. Uh, but if you're a Canadian, go ahead and click on that link and buy yourself some coffee. And what else have we got? We've got Bremerton, Washington. Not okay. sure exactly yet. But and Chilliwack. They'll be starting their full-time RV life in February, March. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. Vagabonzi. Well done. We are excited for you guys. We You're find, in the right place. We find that people start full-time RV living all the time. Yeah. It's a crazy. Yeah, it's all awesome. the time. Excellent. Whether it's in April. Frank's whether coming it's coming to Quartzite. No Sweet. way. Yes. I wish, he says. Quartzite. Try, man. Like, do it. Let's see. Let's see if we can get you to Quartzite. That'll be awesome. That's right. Excellent. Okay, so what else have we got? We've got... Rent a condo uh, in uh, uh, Mike, Phoenix and we'll come and meet you. Mike is going to be at home in Chilliwack. Yes, he is. With a sad face. It's not that sad. Chilliwack is actually a pretty We've place. We've done Chilliwack Chilliwack before. is a beautiful you know, place. As long as it doesn't get flooded out, it's, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> Hopefully there's no floods this year. Exactly. Um, awesome, you guys. This is so fun. We've got everybody going everywhere. We've got, um, yeah, it was 180 days out at all times. That's fantastic. Wow. Fantastic. See, I, I like to go on vacation twice a year for about six months. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yes, diesel. Diesel prices and supply is unknown. So oh, that's why Mel and Eddie aren't sure because they're not sure about right. getting diesel and where it will be yep. available. It's that bad. I don't watch the news, you guys. I'm sorry. I have, I'm not really not in touch with what's going on, but it seems to me that you're telling me that the diesel is... Um, oh, Tumbleweed says available, just more expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And Mike, it is rainy. It is rainy in Chilliwack for sure. But yes, um, it is. hey, maybe we should do a meetup in Chilliwack. We are thinking we might be in that area at Christmas. Yes. True. Hey, send us yep. an email if you want to get together for coffee. That'd be awesome. We'd yep. love to do we that. We could meet up at Cotton Ro Cotton Cottonwood RV Park. No, I, I actually at the um the, the Where? The, the um rest stop. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh what's that rest stop called? Oh I'm not catching it. You you probably know but yeah. between Chilliwack and Abbotsford. Anyway, yes. A uh, week left in Seaside, Oregon, be, being RVing the Oregon coast since the end of May. Okay, well, you can't complain too hard about going to Chilliwack if you've been down on the Oregon coast for this last several months. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. So, I love it. We're going right. to switch gears. We are going to switch gears. We're going to give you guys an update on what we've been up to. Camp hosting is almost over. That's true. What do you know about camp hosting, Kent? Well, I know that it is the tough, tried and true RVers who. Don't take no guff from no one and who have a good employer that last. <laughs> That's true. It's a mix. It's an interesting mix. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's it's a quirky sort of job. Uh, oh, look, like Scott and Janet are here. Hey, guys. Nice hey to guys. see you. Um, all right. So the season for camp hosting is basically over because it's starting yeah. to get really cold here in southern Alberta and, you know, not as many campers. There's still some, and the campground is open all year round. So our jobs are changing. Our tasks are changing. Yeah. So we, we still have to do bathrooms and just... you know clean, empty sites, that kind of thing. But we're gonna we have been doing a lot of pruning. Yep, and we're gonna be switching it up and putting on Christmas lights. Pretty soon, it's time to get for ready for the Christmas campground for the greenhouse area for yes. the the place where people will come to go on the train excursion for november december which is a very special one it is because it's called polar, polar express, express. It's and a, it is a definitely total excursion uh part of that movie yes. experience oh, See, yeah. they actually have royalties that they even pay to have the the polar express experience yeah yeah exactly so they have to do things very specifically too yeah and there'll be tons of christmas lights and there'll be snow and there will be a train <laughs> it's gonna be and there'll so be hot chocolate fun. and there'll be dancing and chefs lots of kids and families and the kids come in their pajamas and it's a whole show like they hire actors and everything it's amazing yeah. so we are excited to be here for december uh it starts no end of november into all of december the last train leaves in on december 24th there's even fireworks i know fireworks and santa and the whole nine yards you guys gifts the kids get gifts on yeah. the train oh, it's good it's so good. it's gonna be fantastic so we are excited about that which means we get to decorate for christmas the whole campground gets to be decorated for christmas i can love you, christmas can you say uh show that um okay so we've john got Chalker? uh we've hey, john. got jo john chalker's in the house hi john nice to see you and also jarhead and ginger came in frank says honestly i'll be in southern ontario and holland landing okay yep. So, um, and we'll still be connecting by live stream. We will. We will be connecting by live stream. I'm sorry you can't come to Quartzite, but one of these days, one of these days, we'll, we'll get you down there. Um, and when we do our Cross Canada? Done. Yes. So we, 
Man, we're jumping all over the place tonight. I yes. have a whole list, but well, you okay. got a whole list, okay. but but so, man, camp posting is changing. We're switching into gear, switching gears into Polar Express. Um, along with that comes winter. So yeah. we have been winterizing Bessie today. So can do you have any pictures for that of that? Well, first of all, the number one question that people like you ask is, well, what are those temperatures? Well, here's a picture ah. for that. So I can refer to this at any time. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it on your screen. So now I don't even have to do the math in, in, up here, right? Exactly. It's just like, oh, exactly. you want to know the temperature? So what is the temperature going to be? There you go. Tonight? It's going to be cold. So go go to your chart. Yeah. So I think to, I think the next couple of days we're going to get be getting down to like minus, I don't know. Let me just take, take a quick check. Don't don't stop talking. It gets boring. Oh, yeah. That's talking. right. That's right. Um... Minus 12. What's minus 12? Can you read that? No. <laughs> I'm trying to read the chart. And I'm like, it's, it's not, not big enough. like, look at my chart. I have, it on, I have it this big on my screen. Maybe you guys can see it. What's Just minus 12 Celsius in Fahrenheit? I have no idea, even though he has the chart there. All righty. Um, you're okay if you still use the chart. Exactly. It's true. Go. It's true. Um, oh, cool. Dry and Ginger are going through Canada to Alaska next year. Whoa. You guys are going to have so much fun. Well it's going to be so great. All right. And yes, Mary Lou, come up for a meetup. We'll have a great time. It'll be awesome. Got to got to get that scheduled and get that figured out. But yes, it's getting cold. So Kent and I and my mom and dad today, we got part of the skirt on Bessie. So we're going four feet from the ground to the top of the paint line. Oh, there you go. You got a picture of it. Excellent. Yep. Thank you. It's not pretty, but we had got a good deal on the on the um, what do you call those insulation boards, fiber boards, whatever they, they are. They are uh, rigid. Two inch insulation. It's one and a half inch. One and a half inch. So it's our R seven rated, I believe. Yeah. And we did that on one side. We did this on the other. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of uh, spots that'll be filled in with uh, pieces. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, from the door all the way around the front of the rig will be a insulated tarp. And across the very back will be an insulated tarp. And that's going in tomorrow and the next day. Mm -hmm. And a few other things like... Um, what? Keep going. Oh, a few other things like uh, carpet tile. And that way... Take the picture off. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's a boring picture to look at. I'm like... <laughs> I'm trying to get... get I'm like... Kick, she's trying him, to signal me. It, and I'm on, like... Change it. <laughs> what? what? I, I, am I saying the wrong thing? <laughs> Thing. No, you're, it's like the shepherd's hook talking. coming in and I'm getting pulled off stage. Kent's ability to multitask is, is not as good as it used to be. All right. So, yes, we are doing all those things. We're also going to put uh, the heat shrink uh, plastic wrap on the windows. We're going to put carpet tiles on the floor, put a heat ch uh, chicken heater underneath or a brood lamp underneath. You ever seen one of these? Nice warm. Yeah, this is cool. This is for your 50 amp and you get two 20 amps and two more 20 amps right off of this plug. There you go. Never had one of these before. I'll be using this. Yeah. So we've got uh, two heaters that we'll put underneath. We've got a heater that comes in right here that will be a infrared heater. And it will get power and it'll come in through the driver's window. And it'll be independent of our power in our rig. So we're, we're not pulling a whole bunch of power out of our rig to heat the place. Mm, exactly. Exactly. So that's, that's a really good a good tool. Um Mel, Mel and Eddie are saying, what about Ruby? She's going to be so cold. Ruby has snow tires on. Yes, we, she does. Got, I've already got her snows on because I took her out to BC the other day for Thanksgiving. And the rule is you have to have mud and snow tires if you're going to be going over the mountain passes. So even though it wasn't snowy and it wasn't icy, we still had to have the snows on. So they're already on. She'll be fine. She's done a couple Canadian winters already. She's, yes. She's a tough girl now. She, she can is. handle it. She can handle it. She's exactly. a toughie. Exactly. So awesome. So oh. Justin and Christina's van, RV van life is here. Hey, guys. And nice to see you. speaking of Ruby. Yes. Ruby is sporting brand new uh, shocks at the back end and yes. also brakes all around. So Ruby's Ruby's happy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So she's doing good. Alrighty. So uh, where were we? We were talking about winterizing the rigs. We got that started. We'll finish that in the next couple of days. And that's basically the update. It is. Kent's feeling better. He's he's still got some issues, some medical um, health challenges as far as muscle stuff. And guess what? But it's, he's starting it's, to get better. And slowly, it's getting but really surely. isolated to my spine. I think I tweaked my spine doing some camp post working because I was pretending I was 25 and I'm not. And my back said, oh my gosh, that was almost mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. And because of the twisting that was happening. So 
my body slowed myself right down by doing the things that my body does that your body would do if you got uh, in that kind of a predicament and I couldn't move much because yeah. my body said slow down. Yeah. Uh, protect the spine. And so I've been to the, the uh, spine doctor. I've been to the other doctors and I'm on a regiment right now and I'm almost doing better. I've had multiple days good in a row. So I'm not being held back now. Yeah, exactly. Well, still being held back some and that's improving though. Yeah. So yeah. we're good. Thank you for I'm your prayers. I'm so happy. Thank you for your thoughts for Kent. We have totally appreciate that. And yeah. And, and this shoulder still bugs me yeah, because I tore it a lot up a little bit two years ago. Yeah. Well, exactly. But it, it'll get better. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe a displaced vertebrate. vertebrae. Yeah. It's well, my possible. chiropractor says no. So he yeah. says my, my spine is fine. It just needed to be adjusted, especially in that middle piece. And he, I think that was where most of the problem was. Yeah. So we're yeah. happy. Yeah. So we're just glad that he's starting to get on the mend. And it isn't anything more serious because that was our bigger concern. So so with him feeling better, that means we can do videos more often. So yeah. now we're going to talk to you a little bit about what our next stage of videos um, coming up is. And if you guys came into the chat late and you haven't answered the question yet, where are you going to be in February? We're asking people where they're going to be in February That's right. because we're going to be in Quartzsite. So hopefully a bunch of you guys can come to Quartzsite and meet us there. So It'll be a fast trip down yeah. from the Alberta. Tequila and avocados helps pain. You know, we're not tequila people. No. I'm a wine person. Kent likes his beer, maybe a rum and coke once in a while. But yeah, just yeah, enough. We're just, you know? Tequila's just not our thing. And then when it comes to the tequila, avocados, it's like... Yes, definitely love the avocado. Not, not <laughs> my cup of tea. Exactly, no. exactly. Awesome. All right, so... Oh, they're going to Florida. Ooh. Justin and Christine's RV Man Life. Awesome. Love it. Keep us informed on that. Yes, have fun there. You guys are going to have such such a great time. That'll be great. Um, awesome. Okay, so... Next week, we're doing a video, hopefully on Friday. Mary Lou, I was offered a whole bunch of tequila last <laughs> she, week, and I'm like, not happening. Exactly, exactly. Um, okay, Doug C is going to be in Edmonton. There you go. He rolls his eyes like, oh my gosh, Edmonton. <laughs> Edmonton, the most northern capital of any, I don't know. I don't know. Edmonton has a, a few different, uh, hey, type it into the chat what Edmonton is known for as being the most northern something in the world. Edmonton is known for the last spike. Well, there you go. Hey, I did. I learned something this summer. The rail tracks in the north are from CN Rail and the ones in the south are CP Rail. True. Canadian National in the north, Canadian Pacific in the south. <gasps> I never knew that before. We have a new cool. patron. Yes. Speaking of that, yes, yes. Who so has Nettie a career just, with CN? <laughs> Nettie just put uh, the link for our Patreon page in there. So we want to give a quick shout out to our patrons. If you are part of our patron family, we yes. love you so much. We are so thankful for your support. You guys literally are the engine that drives Living Light RV. You guys Absolutely. put gas in our tank, put food on our table, and we always appreciate every single one of you. And we do have some yeah. new patrons we do. that and aren't on our list and yet. And we're updating our. Yes. Our end screens and stuff that yeah. reflect that. Exactly. So um, our new patrons are Harold and Carol, which who we got to meet at our meetup a few weeks ago. And then they came and visited us again last week. And it was so much fun to visit with yes. them and their friends, Don and Diana. And Harold and Carol are now brand new patrons. So welcome to our Patreon family. And Jim and Lori also are new patrons as well. They have been supporting us throughout the years on and off and now they're officially new patrons so thank you thank you so much and susan as well thank you so much you guys for becoming you're, patrons you're, for you're your chatting support but we're having some data issues so i don't know if they're going to hear everything that you just said oh man i know she gets on a rampage <laughs> and the mic just says can you stop that woman already anyway um we will we will definitely be adding their names to our thank you page and the, we'll yes, have that all the updates the will be video. happening within the next yes. couple of days. Okay, so let's talk about our next video. Oh, there you go. Edmonton is, Edmonton famous, is for famous for Doug C. And, and the Oilers. Oilers. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not an Oilers hey, fan. I watched, I'm a Flames fan, I but I just like some hockey. of that uh, Chicago Oilers. Uh, that was a tough game. That yeah. was last week. Yeah, exactly. Good hockey, though. Wow. Exactly. Oh, John Chalker is going to try and get to courtside. That would be Sweet. cool. Sweet. Let's hope that it all works out for you. It looks like you've got some plans going on there to get yourself a Class C. Awesome. Oh, man. That would be so good to see you there. Excellent. Okay. So what was I talking about? I was saying our next video on Friday is going to be... Yes. Do you have what it takes to be a camp host? That's right. It's going to be a super fun video. I've been filming on and off all summer. Kent's got some filming as well done. Just talking about maybe the lesser... 
what is it? You like, see, yeah. You see, when I I sit, I I will sometimes as a camp host chat with somebody, and they will respond with, "Oh man, I just love to do what you're doing." Yeah, they do. And this they looks do. like so much fun. Can I From be a camp heart, host too? Like I. I, I've interacted with some people and it was a really, really special uh, interaction. And they were, you know, we both, you know, it was, it was excellent. And then they are like, you know what? I want to do what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that's not all that I do. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I'm an ambassador the and then I'm also picking up garbage and then I'm also, you'll see. Yeah. You'll see in the video, but yeah. Cause we, this actually started because I had a lady come up to me and say, she said, uh, well, I'm a people person. Just tell it like it really is. Do Zero you have rate. what it takes to be a campos? Oh, my gosh. We are getting bounced. Are we? Oh, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to switch it because uh, uh -oh. I might lose the whole thing. Oh, yeah. See, that's got the circle thing there. All oh, right. Sorry shoot. about our uh, data rates. We're going to watch to make sure that we're broadcasting correctly. And if we're not, we're going to pause it. Just, just slow down in our talking for what? a little bit. Let me slow down. Yeah, I know. I'll I'll keep uh, nudging you. This, this is... This is <laughs> This is going to be good. This will be great. All right. <laughs> Slowly sit down. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it'll be a fun video. And I want to give a special invite. If you are a camp host, if you have ever camp hosted, if you've ever worked at a campground, please send us your stories. Send us the funny things, the gross things, the scary things, whatever has ever happened to you as a camp host, not a camper, but as a, a, a person on staff at a campground, Please send us your stories and we will read those out in the video. So that'll be yeah. to uh, ideas at livinglightrv.com. Right? Yes, right. I, that am, works. am I talking slow enough now? No, no. You don't have to talk slow <laughs> until I give you the signal. Okay. Ideas at livinglightrv.com. So go ahead and, and this send signal us an email. will work all week long. And tell, oh, yeah, you think? Yes. I don't think so. Only for the next half an hour. Okay. <laughs> Okay. We're, All right, so we're green still, so we'll keep going. Go ahead and send us your stories of being a camp host or working at a campground, and we will put those in the video. So that'll be super duper fun. Hey, the one time we had to call the cops this year and take care of somebody who caused some damage to stuff, I was involved with making sure the right person got connected to the cops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tired, retired, old timers is in the house. And Jim L is here. He says, your feed seems to be working fine. Mike says, I'm seeing and hearing you fine. So yes. I think we'll just because going. it's bouncing on your screen doesn't mean it necessarily. Well, it was there and there. So okay. I know Sounds it's good. true, but I'll, we'll I'll do give you the best. signal. We'll if if, still, it, if, we, if we totally freeze, just tell us in the chat that we're frozen. Okay. So we've already covered what's happening next week with our season eight. It's the last video of season eight. And it will be all about, do you have what it takes to be a camp host? Last video of season eight, guys. You know what that means? That means... The next video after that is going to be season, season nine. nine. It means we get to start a Two whole new now. season. We love this whole concept of dividing our life into seasons. Uh, and it's not a year. It's just sort of what is the next phase of life. Yep. So season nine is coming up. We're super, super excited. We will be continuing our RV Life on a Shoestring Budget series. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out our playlist on that one. Because we didn't finish it. We, That's true. we have a lot more we want to there'll, share there'll be a few more pieces. doing life on a yeah. shoestring budget, RV life. So we'll still add those in every once in a while as we have time to put those out. Season nine is going to be totally different, you guys. Yeah. We're going to film it different. Yep. We're going to dish it different. Yep. And we are going to, well, there'll be a few things that'll look the Brace same. Brace yourself for That's the change. Right. So a couple of the changes that are going to happen are, well, that we we're planning to happen anyway, yes. is we want to do more vlog style. So like, as we're sitting here chatting with you we are in this live stream, this is just Kent and Lisa. This is just us raw talking, normal, making mistakes, saying, um, and what, and what are you talking about? And stop nudging me and yeah. <laughs> talk slower and all that stuff. It's not edited and it's super fun. And we just feel like Sometimes with the YouTube videos, they can be a little polished. over, yeah, too polished, a little oh. bit over edited. When I edited it for the first season, second season, I was like, I would take out all of my ums, every one of them. I'm yeah. like, I edit that one out. Perfect. Perfect. Next, next, next. <laughs> and I sounded way better than me. Or I would say to Ken, oh, my hair looks bad in that video. Clip, cut that clip or, you know, whatever, whatever. So we're not doing that anymore. We're just going to do real life. This is just real life. What does life look like day to day? Yep. Living full time in an RV. So that's part of it. The other part is how to survive Canadian winters. winter with whatever winter blows your way. In a vintage RV. That's right. A vintage motorhome. So Bessie's in 1993. She's not super well insulated. 
and we're hoping that nope. we don't freeze to death. There's not triple pane windows? No. No, there isn't triple pane windows. We don't have uh, a sealed ooh. belly. No, we don't have a... No. Well, we're getting a sealed belly because we're, we're sealing it in. We're making it sealed. <laughs> so, yes. So, that will be a separate series. So, we'll be doing uh, Surviving Canadian Winters in a Vintage RV. So, that'll be the series that goes along with it. But our regular videos are just going to be vlog style. So, we're going to try and just pick up the camera. Like, just this camera. Like, nothing you, super fan. Can you write that down? See. Speedify. Uh, just write okay. Speedify down. Uh, okay. Speed Make notes. Speedify. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. We're good. Uh, we also... That was by Gary and Carol. Thanks, guys. Um, you guys make us look good. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> all really of you do. do. You guys all make us look good. Uh, RV living life. Okay. Um, we actually are going to set up a couple more cameras and just have those kind of rolling more often. The other day I was um, getting dressed and I was thinking to myself, we haven't picked up the camera a lot lately. That's right. And if you don't pick up the camera and you don't film, then you don't have anything for content. So we're just going to start picking the cameras up more often. It'll be fun. Cool. Keep reading those. Okay. Um, one of the reasons why I have not been editing a lot of videos lately and I haven't been picking up the camera lately is because my energy level has been diminished because I was feeling though that uh, pain because of my tweaked back. And that really just sucks out the energy to just, uh, you know, put it out there. And to grab hold of things and to move forward. I'm like, I, I'm hurting. You know, like, but now that I'm getting past that, now I'll be picking up that camera. Speaking of picking up the camera, I need to pick up that water. Sue Ras Rams Rasmussen is in the house. So welcome here, Sue. Glad to see you. She says, uh, we started back at the beginning of the chat. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, this is the first time we've seen them for a long time. They've been busy. They've been super busy this summer. So being busy is good. And uh, by the looks of that sweater that Kent has on, he must be cold. So we were gifted these sweaters, you guys, by one of our patrons. Two they of these. Are two, two sweaters. A matching and, pair. Yeah, they are so cozy, super, super warm. They're, they're basically a lifesaver because yeah. we've been out in the cold working at night. And having these on underneath our yellow um, motorcycle jackets is just me keeping us toasty warm. So thank you to that patron who gave us these beautiful, beautiful handmade gifts. We are so touched and I've it's got a, nostalgic for us. So I got a snowboard you. jacket, so I'm not wearing the, the motorcycle jacket anymore. I'm I'm wearing a insulated snow jacket, which means I'm even better warm. Exactly. But these are gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Um, Kent's been a little bit colder than normal just because I don't think his body is functioning at the higher metabolism as it's I'm on supposed some meds to too. so i think it's good that he's got extra sweaters and extra cold extra things to keep him cozy warm I'm taking but yes, care of myself we love them they're beautiful yeah all right so season nine it's gonna be super fun um yeah it's just gonna be regular life because i think it's, <laughs> it's actually raw. it's actually our kids who came up with this idea because they're like you guys have a weird life and people want to see the freaky side of society the weirdness the 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 oddball kind of people like reality shows right they, they came out of this whole concept of what does it look like to live there to be a fly on the wall right so you know we'll keep it clean we'll keep it you know whatever keep it fun as much as we possibly can but we will show you the harder things the stressful things and it's going to be a challenge for us because yep if any of you have a youtube channel you know that when things are stressful the last thing you want to do is film it the last thing you want to do is pick up a camera and actually show that side of life. So this is a challenge for us too, it is. to just be real and to just be, just be ourselves. And to so. keep the camera rolling. Um, Hopefully it's fun. Columbus, Ohio is where Sue is traveling to. Oh, fun. That in sounds February. cool. Ohio. I'm trying to think of where Ohio is. Is it in the middle, right? Kind of one of the middle, mm, the Midwest. Maybe. Considered Midwest, I think, Ohio. But I could be completely wrong. I, I am not very good on my American map. I need to get better at it. All right. So, yes, they are definitely great gifts for sure. Um, let's we see. What pleased. else have we got? All right. We are blessed. What's next, Kent? Uh, I've oh, already showed the prop. I'll tell you what else is yes. going to be new for season nine. We are going to be breathing new life into the livinglightrv.com website. <laughs> So Honest. It's been a while since I've done updates over there. I mean, still good, got good content and beautiful pictures and all kinds of good stuff on there, good coupon codes and all that. That's still valid and, and legit. But I just wanted to just breathe new life into it and have it more reflect who we are and what season nine will be bringing to us in that reality kind of way. So yeah, more blog posts. 
Uh, we're getting, we've got a new logo already designed. Anna designed our logo for us, our daughter, who is an artist. She's living out in Africa. And I said, Anna, I need a new logo. So she put that together. So we'll have a new logo. We'll have new stickers. We'll have new sweaters. We'll have sweaters, hoodies, t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, all the merch. Um, and it's going to be super duper fun. We want to also, uh, really boost up our Patreon engagement. Uh, we're going to start doing uh, like sort of special things for the higher tiers of Patreon and, and some fun stuff for everybody. So yeah, if you haven't signed up or looked at the Patreon p page, head over there. So we're just going to take this winter we're gonna season make it real. to just really put Again. a lot of effort and a lot of love and a lot of just joy and happiness into Living Light RV because we feel like we're back in the game. Yeah. We feel like, you know, COVID kind of stole our thunder and, and kind of um, put the lid on travel and, and made us kind of grumpy. And we're tired of being grumpy. We're not going to be grumpy anymore. So we're just going to move forward and have fun. That's right. We're going to go grab life by the tail. And there's a few comments that you might want to Okay, read. let's go look at some comments while you chat. Uh, people are talking about, wow, picking up a camera when things are going wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not easy. Yeah, okay. exactly. You have to purpose to do that ahead of time. <laughs> oh, awesome. Gary's like, I can just picture pulling out a camera when Carol and I are having a disagreement. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I'm like, are we actually brave enough to do we this? Had, I don't know. We'll see. We had a GoPro session Get that four out of my face. on a stick, and we were using that quite a, a lot in season two. And when Lisa walked out of the trailer, out of the motorhome, I say trailer often too. Yeah. When I walked out of the motorhome and the uh, front tire was on fire because it had just burst, uh, and been dragged yes, by by four feet. Amazing. She hit record. Yeah, it was just right there on the table, so I grabbed it. So I think that's the key is to just have the cameras charged and ready yes. to go at all times, and have them just just pick them up and use them. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes, exactly. Uh, Richard and Hope from X marks the spot. I couldn't believe when Carolyn grabbed the camera while Garrett was dealing with the brakes on with their fire. She's a YouTuber. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you just know that that's what you got to do, right? So, yep. yes, can't wait to see the new merch. Us too. I'm looking forward to designing it and putting some stuff on there, putting some words. So if you guys have any ideas of what you want us to create, like if you have a certain like phrase or just like. Like I just bought a T-shirt from um, from a uh, YouTuber that I follow, and it, it's called The High Wire. And the T-shirt just says "Be Brave" on the front, and it says "TheHighWire.com" on the back. But "Be Brave," I'm like, wow, that can mean so much to so many different people, and True. I know what it means for me, and it's personal. So I just think if you guys have like a little phrase or a couple of words that you would like to see with with a with the new Living Light RV logo on it. Send it our way, ideas at livinglightrv.com, and we will try and put that all together. I want to. I want this to be a community thing. I want us to just, you know, kind of connect together yeah. through this kind of thing. So that'll be super fun. Another big question that came up, Doug C. wants to know. Well, for a friend. Thomas Mayher Jr. is in the house. Hi. Go ahead, Kent. Uh, are we going to be back uh, at Aspen sometime in the future? Good <laughs> asking for a friend. Uh, yes. We are hoping to be back here. We this, don't... Is a, this is a good landing spot. Uh, we want to come back with some uh, plans already in the works, meaning if we are <laughs> going to travel across Canada, we have to have an end date and be able to cut ties and get out of here without uh, uh, causing disruption to their operation. Yes. So this is the problem, right? So this is a wonderful place to stay. But like Ken said, we also want to travel. Yeah. But we also need to make money. And working and making money so that we can travel, it's it all has to work together. So we don't know. We haven't been given um, a for sure yet from management if they are hiring us back. But we would like to come back. So if management, if you're watching this video, <laughs> yeah, what we need, let us know if we're hired for April, okay? <laughs> we shall see how that all works out. But yes, our plan would be to come back in April, yeah. May, June, July. They've said we August. Are, so you know, maybe start traveling middle of August and then head across Canada yeah. for like August, September, October. We talk to the music fest here is over and then. Yep, exactly. Okay. And then come back for Polar Express for November, December, and then That'd maybe cool. head south again for January. So I don't know. It's hard to plan. Like how, how many months ahead do you plan your life? Right. It's hard to, it's hard to know that, but yeah, that is our, our plan. We would like to come back. Um, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Cause we had so many of you come and visit us here Yep. and like tired, retired old timers just said, sounds great as, uh, um, sounds great as you move forward. And yeah. Um, yeah. Doug C says, well, you'll be back at Aspen asking for a friend. So yes, but, we want to have you guys come back and visit. But us. all of our other friends are More like, meetups. Hey, when are you coming back to meet up yes, with us? Exactly. Whether so, it's in Texas, whether it's in 
Arizona, so whether Melanie's it's in saying Utah. That. She's saying, can you come to the States? We miss you all. Absolutely. So hope, as soon as we can cross the border, yep. we want to get down there as soon as Anna's back in Africa. So hopefully by mid-January, the rules have changed. Yep. They'll let us come over. We'll come down. We'll go to Quartzsite. And we will spend uh, pretty much all of February and all of March in Quartzsite. That's, that's our plan. That's where we're so. going. Maybe we'll even stay a little bit later and be a part of April yep. in Buckeye and then head north. I know we had talked about going to Baja to visit with Christian and Tracy from Tumbleweed RV Life, but I don't think that's going to work uh, for time as well as for the distance to get down there yep. so that we can get back here to start work in April because they do hire their camp post starting in April. But we don't need diesel. We don't need diesel. We just need gas. Yeah. <laughs> so, Exactly. Um, I think we're almost done. So do you guys have what? any questions? Cause like we have 15 minutes left. If you want to ask us any questions, we'll do a little Q and a, or we can talk about the weather. We okay. can talk about RV. Oh, tell us what you want to see in the, um, Canadian winters. Like, yes. is there anything specific that you are interested or curious about in a Canadian winter RV series? So we are going to show you step by step of what we did what we will do to make sure that our rig is totally sustainable in the winter living. Yeah, exactly. So FNT says, how much money do you think you need as a backup for the RV life? Oh, that's a good that's question. That's a good question. That so will... when you say backup, do you mean like in case of emergency in RV life? Or do you mean so that when like an exit strategy for when you leave RV life? Yeah. That's a hard question. And that's going to be so personal for everybody. Kent and I live on a pretty low budget. Like we do not really buy stuff that we don't really need we don't go out for dinner we don't um, go on like holidays other than traveling where we yep. live um, so we don't actually need very much extra money we need some we like to have some money in the bank for like if our tires need to be replaced in an emergency or you know that kind of thing so I would say which could happen but it has happened so um, yeah so I would say like I don't know like if we had a catastrophic failure in our motorhome and we had to like quickly get another motorhome, it would probably cost between ten and twenty thousand dollars. So I would say yeah. that that would be a good number to have, you know, either in the bank or available to you in a pinch. But that's totally different for every person. So it is. Yeah, good question though. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So right now the border is open for all of our American friends to come up to Canada. Uh, the border is still not open officially for us to travel down to the States. Okay, so Jim L says, we are thinking about traveling Canada June through September. I'm going to look at provincial and national campgrounds. What source do you recommend to get a better idea of where to camp in Canada? So um, there's a, a website that or an app that I use called iOverlander. So that's one I would definitely check out, iOverlander. It'll tell you where the free stuff is. It'll tell you where showers are. It'll tell you where RV repair shops are. It'll tell you where the campgrounds are, obviously, yeah. provincial, national, private, all of the campgrounds. So iOverlander is one is my go-to. Uh, there are a couple of other ones out there, too. There's one called Campendium. Yep. You can check that one out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I know there's uh, – you guys can put in the chat, too, if you have. I know uh, Christian Tracy uses a certain one. I can't remember what it is that they use for all their travel planning, trip planning. So they can put that in there. Um, so yeah, go ahead and put that in the chat, you guys. What do you use for finding campgrounds, provincial and, and national specifically, in Canada? So that would be good. Um, um, Justin and Christina, or Justin, yeah, Justin and Christina's RV Van Life, they probably have some good suggestions as well for Canada for traveling. Uh, these, this chat is going way too fast. <laughs> RV Life Pro. I'm going to have to pull it up on my phone so I can see them. There's, there's more apps every day yes yes there are always apps oh man i can't see it what's happening can you read those can you read any sure. of those questions while sure. i try There's and a find few. The, the um the live is the u.s or canada blocking entry we are so excited to see the border open for us to travel through canada you are as far as i know yeah you are welcome to come to come canada on in. no questions asked just are you you know do you have a uh, I think it's a uh, criminal record check. You know, that kind of thing like your would passport. be restriction. Uh, you need to have a passport. Yeah. You need to have money. Exactly. Exactly. 
Um, okay, Mike Guan says, is there a current restriction to cross the border? Yes, for if you're not vaccinated, you can't get into the States. But in Canada, everyone is welcome to come Although in. Although so. it's hit and miss that some people are not being asked that question and they're going yes, through the States. Yes, we have heard. And some people are being turned around at the border and yeah. sorry. So it is hit. Try again in a year. So technically, legally, that no, we can't go across, but some people are trying and successful at it. I'm not sure that we're okay with just trying it because the deal is this. Once we unskirt the motorhome and dewinterize it, we then have to head south where it's warmer or we have to come back and reskirt everything, which would be a total pain. So yeah. I'm not sure that I want to take that risk. I think we're just going to wait until the rules change. And so we just really need to hope and pray that, that the CDC will allow travelers, all travelers to come in to their country. And tell so, the government so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to see if there are other, um, uh, tired, retired old timer says, when are you finished at Aspen or are you already finished for the year? We're staying here until January 15th. Yep. So we said earlier in the chat that there is a lot of stuff to do still. Like we still have to put up Christmas lights and we still have to clean bathrooms and, uh, the cabooses are still here. People are still camping. In fact, we had one couple come in last this weekend and they said, we didn't get here all summer, but we're here to winter camp and we'll be here most weekends all winter. Wow. They love winter camping. So yep. it's a thing. All those diehard Canadians that just love their snow and cold weather. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. Mike and Mary Lou are talking back and forth and that's fine. Just let them. Yeah, exactly. They're answering the questions. So Perfect. they're going through Perfect. it. Perfect. That sounds good. And I, I know, I understand that, Mike, that uh, sometimes they won't ask, but unfortunately you get the black mark if they do ask and you're not allowed in. Well... We don't know that for sure. No, but you get the black. If, the, you? if you're not allowed in, okay. you get the black mark. You're okay. not allowed in. You're not allowed to go back and try for another year. Okay, here's a good comment. Arby Living Life said, "When we stayed in Ontario for the winter, the most important thing to us was the 400 pound propane bottle attached to the rig." Yes, you're talking about the big one underneath, right? No, 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 the big one that sits beside. Oh, your rig. the one that sits beside. See, we have a 30 pounder that sits beside our rig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so can that? Yeah, there it is. That one there. That the the big one. Yeah. And uh, when I was in Chilliwack, no. Uh, in Abbotsford, I had three of those. You can take the picture oh, off Oh, okay. Now. I'm like, what? It leaves the picture on there for so long. It's like, what? I'm, I, I'm <laughs> not hilarious. finished yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, we had three of them, so we would just rotate them. Yeah, exactly. And we've got propane on site here. so super And we have easy. a big propane tank that is uh, still staying mostly full. And yeah. I turn it off and turn it back on only when I'm doing bottle exchange. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, okay, let me see what else we've got for questions. Campendium and RV Trip Wizard from Jim L. Um, I Overlander, yeah, it's exactly. Definitely check that one out. Um, excellent. F and T says Donna Lynn okay. is in the house. Good. Oh, RV Parky, that's the one. I knew there was another one. Uh, RV Parky is is one that works in the U.S. Um, it actually is good, Thomas. It is good for Canada. We had um, someone, a camper came in recently, yes. and they just said, hey, we saw your campground on RV Parky. It has good ratings, so we decided to come check it out. So yeah. people are using that one as well. Um, we will be boom. asking all of you guys which border crossing is the best one to go yeah. across yeah. Uh, long before we are driving down the road. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Tumbleweed RV Life says Boondockers Welcome. Yes. Yeah, so if you are part of Boondockers Welcome, which I think is now married to Harvest Host, Host, they're, they, I think they joined. Um, yeah, you'll be able to see their whole list of, of places to stay, which is actually really great. So then you get to meet people and, and stay for good prices as well. So uh, thank you, Nettie, for the PayPal uh, links. If you guys aren't wanting to be patrons or if you just want to give us a tip for our tip jar, you can head over to PayPal and plop that in there. And we thank you so much for that because that really does help us um, just keep things going, right? And Donna Lynn, say hi to Jason for us. Uh, oh, Donna Lynn. I thought you said Donna Lynn is in the yes. house. Hey, Donna. Nice to see you. And we got to meet Donna Lynn and Jason at our meetup, and yep. it was just so, so wonderful to meet them. And yes, I'll be talking to you soon about Bible study. <laughs> I have not forgotten. So we will get on that for sure. Um, let me see. Do, 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 good night, Frank. Do, see if there's any other questions. We're good. Looks good. Looks good. Um, and take 20. Oh, Jason is here. He's in the house. Take yes. 20 D&D. That's Jason. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good, you guys. And I think, I think we're basically done. So I just want to say again, thank you so much to our moderators. You yes. guys, if you want to just take a second right now, again, pop your links into the chat so people can go check those out. And when you're done here, go on those links and go visit our 
moderators and give them some love and some support. And thank you again to our patrons. Our Patreon yeah. family is so important to us. We really appreciate each and every one of you and your support, your love, your encouragement. You guys encourage us like I don't I don't even know if you even know how much how much <coughs> you encourage me. us. Everybody here, you guys, we love you so much. We Just thank you for hanging more, out. Oh, one more question. question. Okay. Um, Nexus cards? No. I uh, didn't go that way because uh, we don't usually go in the traffic lines that are long to go across borders. So uh, we go in the middle of the week, we go early in the morning, and we ha lots of times have gone across where there's, you know, seven in line in front of you. Yeah. Um, however, I do agree with you, Mike. I think it is easier to cross. So that is that is something that I'm going to look into and see if we can get that ball rolling as yeah. well to get the next cards because I have heard that it makes it just quicker and simpler to get across, less questions and that kind of thing. So awesome. So I think that's it. You guys go check out the links here that are popping up on our um, on our chat list for the moderators. <laughs> Doing a live stream is, is hard. There's Don't lots forget, to look Nettie, at. I need a picture of those nails. Yeah, we want a picture of your nails, Nettie. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Go out there. Go grab life by the tail. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you on Friday. Thanks for hanging out. We love you. Take care. And here's our almost latest uh, end video, but we will be updating it uh, because there's a couple of names that should be added. Here it is. See you guys on Friday.